Hello, this is Lee from the agency Trailblazer Community, and I want to show everybody this fantastic application. This is an online app that quite literally gives you, as they say, and they're not even lying, design superpowers. Now, this is a product that would be perfect for design agencies, web agencies, social media agencies or experts, marketing agencies, the whole nine yards. If you are regularly creating content, regularly sharing images, quotes, blogs, etc., then this is the sort of application that you need to be looking at, especially if you are using Canva or any product like that and you love all the templates, but you find it really hard to lay things out and to make things look consistent and to keep things on brand. There are so many clones of Canva and Canva itself, which are all great and they all have their strengths, but trying to line things up, etc., at speed is actually really complex. Trying to keep things consistent when you've got long pieces of text, etc. Again, it's really complicated. So let's have a dive in to relay that and let's see what's inside. So first of all, you can see the interface here looks very similar to that of a Canva style of product. Um, but what we have up here is the ability to set up brands. And this is the first cool thing about this platform. You can manage multiple brands inside of here and essentially switch workplaces. So I have the brand here of Agency Trailblazer, but you could also have client brands. So if you are regularly creating social media content for a client, you can actually set up their brand assets in that. And we're going to show you how to do that in a short while. Um, once you've got your brand all set up, we then have the interface down here, which allows us to select what type of content that we want to create, what kind of image, what shape, etc. And they've already got in here tons and tons of images. For example, YouTube thumbnails, um, they have blog post sharings, they've got Twitter headers, etc. And the team there are adding more and more as they go. So let's just take a quick look at creating a YouTube thumbnail. And what happens when we click on that, it's already taking all of the brand assets that I've already selected right from the very beginning, which was the color scheme, the fonts, the sizing and everything. And it's automatically showing me what that's going to look like down here on the right hand side. So it's taking all of the design decisions out there, out of it for me. I mean, if you are a designer, you want to do something from scratch, then of course Canva is awesome. But if you are in a rush and you want to just create something that looks really good quality, at speed, then you already have a whole stack of options that look absolutely phenomenal. So for example, if I click on this one, it's going to load and I can see this brilliant uh, layout. I can now go ahead and change the text. And the beauty of this is if I carry on typing, it's automatically going to resize the text. It's going to keep everything into the constraint that it needs to be so that again, I'm having consistent imagery. I'm not having things break out and I'm not having to use drag and drop facilities as it were to to lay things out and try and learn to have a designer's eye because it's automatically doing everything for me. Maybe I've played with this and I'm thinking, you know what, I'm not quite so happy with that. I'm going to switch back and I'm going to find a different layout. So you can do just that. And there you go. We now have a new thumbnail that we can use and it's automatically carried across the text. Let's take a look at, say, a square post. Um, so that would be, say, one of these. And we could instantly go for this and I can drag and drop um, any of these icons in. So say I don't want to show icon um, three and uh, four or, or that icon, for example. Maybe I want to add a backdrop in and I want to remove this image and I want to remove this image. We've got all sorts of control that we can do, again, without losing um, the, the context and without having to drag and drop things in. If I get bored of this one, I can just switch over here and we've got something completely different. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over on my other screen and I'm going to find some images that we can play with. Uh, did I upload any in here? I don't believe I have. Uh, that's the save designs. No, okay, so... Oh, now we've got some image, images we can use. Okay, so, for example, if we want to then just change these images to something that's on brand with our content, then I can just go and drag this picture here of Larissa and then maybe this one of Kate. And again, I can then go ahead and change the text. So very quickly, we're seeing images um, on brand with our brand assets, with our colors. These aren't actually our real ones. Um, 
very, very quickly. We can experiment with the designs without moving things along, without trying to make things work in a drag and drop system. And if we don't like it, we can just carry on. So uh, let's let's just put two M's on the end of that so we can see that. That looks fantastic. And I could download and save that if I wanted to. And that's going to save it as a PNG. Let's now switch over to, I don't know, let's say some mock-ups. If you're a design agency and you're wanting to showcase something you've done, or maybe you want to um, have a... Uh, this is a great one for a podcast or something like that and you want the image here and you want to have your text then that again that's the sort of thing you can do and you can drag and drop any of your saved images across so maybe we could drop Karthik and his wife in um, or maybe a picture of me and we can experiment with that we can choose to turn off the icon turn on the icon but you can also see that extra M that I added to that domain so that uh, every change I'm making is actually getting carried across throughout the system, which is absolutely phenomenal. Let's have another quick look in here. Um, we also have things like Crop Photo. We've got uh, support for Repurpose.io, which is an amazing platform by Hani Moira, uh, which allows you to repurpose your audio content into video across multiple platforms, as well as your live streams onto YouTube, from Facebook to YouTube, or from Facebook to audio, etc. So a very phenomenal platform. They've got things for Facebook ads. Um, you You've also got your, um, uh, again, your wide posts, blog posts, Facebook covers, etc., etc. So here's a really attractive looking Facebook cover. Um, I could again drag in all of my imagery across and within seconds I've designed something without having to make all those extra design decisions. I've not had to move things around, realign them. I can put all of my own imagery in wherever I want really quickly, make something that looks expensive without having to put all of that extra work in and it's still maintaining all of my fonts, my assets, etc. All right, so what I've done is I've actually created a demo brand in here which is completely devoid of anything right now. So let's go here and we can look at all the example templates that they have. So obviously this looks very boring because we've got absolutely nothing set up and the first thing I want to do is I want to set up the brand colors. So we've got all of these different options down here on the right. These are images you can use. And I'm going to set up my standard colors for the fonts and what fonts I want to use. So let's stay with the stock fonts because they look great. There's a good combination. But we're going to say that we want our main font color to be this dark color here. And let's say that we want our box color to be uh, white. Uh, there we go. We can change that later. Um, for the Rallaway, let's say we want that to be our main color. And then for our highlight color, we'll leave that highlight color the same, I think. Uh, you know what? I'm not happy with that at all. <laughs> let's remove the color there. I didn't realize it put a background. Let's go there and remove that. That looks a lot better. So there we go. So I've already set my colors and I've selected our fonts. Now the highlight, uh, we could maybe make that... Um, I don't know, maybe a pale yellow just for this demo only. But the highlight color, as you can see, is something that you've put inside of there like that. Alrighty. You can also upload your fonts. So you can see here that we've uploaded fonts that we've purchased. And we can use those on the different brands. So I could actually set my highlight to be the Futura font instead of the, of the uh, Rallaway font. Uh, uh, no, Baybus. Instead of the Baybus font that we already have. But let's leave that as it is. So that's the first thing that we've done. Let's now go back up here and let's actually go to one of these templates and uh, let's select this template here. Okay, so first thing I'm going to want to do is uh, let's, ooh, let's change some of these colors and experiment. So if we go there and uh, let's change the text and say agency, oops, agency trailblazer.com and I say I want to show that I don't want to show that icon up there I am going to say love your agency and it's automatically uh, resizing everything for me I'm gonna pop the hashtag in there and we're gonna take the that out of there and then let's grab some photographs as well so let's go into our uploads and we'll say we want a photo there we want a photo, sorry, let's do a different photo, different photo there, and a different photo there. So you can see we've already got our photographs set up. I'm going to say that I don't want uh, the backdrop in there either. So we go, love your agency. 
And then why don't we add this in here just saying test one two three there you go so very quickly we've got a really good looking screen now there's too much going on so we can make some decisions here I could say that I'm actually gonna get rid of um, well, let's say we're gonna harmonize that color and for this I want to control our overall font to something that's a lot lighter so it's so it can be seen um, I also want to say get rid of that hashtag so that we just leave the the website name up at the top but we've got the love your agency okay that's pretty much it that's all I've had to do and we've got those brand assets loaded in now what you'll notice is on the left it's already starting to create new designs and variations based on what we've already added so why don't we go ahead and see if I've got a logo I can drag into up here into the icon section um, and what I'll do as well hang on a second did I do that right oh there you go um, what I'll do is I will take off this and I will put the icon in its place and I'm also going to temporarily activate the backdrop and we will put an image of me on a computer in there as well so that looks a little bit messy which is fine but let's go back to square posts and again it's already found that image of me and it's already starting to extrapolate lots of different layouts and designs that I can utilize. So that looks pretty cool. So I'm now switching over to here. It's carried over my website name, my love my agency, my logo. It's got my call to action here. So I can now pop in a couple of screenshots, for example. So let's go over here to all uploads and you'll see that I actually have some screenshots that I did of a product that I made and that looks absolutely phenomenal it's ready for me to save and I can go and use that as a post and that that's continues throughout the system if I want to make now a wide post it's again grabbing all of our assets and it's putting it all over the place so that we can experiment and create something that looks freaking awesome that looks on brand and um, we're not having to think too much about it but we're getting really good quality let's uh, put a different image in there you can also edit the images as well so you see here we can zoom in and we can zoom out we've got all sorts of controls you can add different effects uh, make things gray so on and so forth so essentially it's limitless what you can do apart from the limitations that ensure you don't have text overlapping each other and that they ensure that you are using the right font size that you are using the right font and they're using the right uh, font colors as well so that you're staying on brand yes you can kind of screw things up a little bit for yourself if you uh, start ch checking random colors that are not on brand but as long as you're sticking with core brand colors whatever is produced is gonna pretty much look amazing so uh, let's on this let's just take off the uh, the website and let's uh, let's also say that we want uh, the this to be the same color uh, that to be the same let's take the overlay off and we now have love your agency and I can very quickly go in here as well now I said font one should be that kind of light color let's say that we want that to be a nice bold color and it already starts to look pretty cool um, I can also move this image around I can then add the gray effect to everything to make everything look on point and I'm ready to go with my nice little advertisement or my love love my agency and when I say advertisement they even have leaderboards all right so that's your demo remember you can go in here set up your brands I think their yearly package limits you to five different brands but you can I think there's a new package coming out which will give you unlimited brands but this is definitely perfect for Busy designers, busy design agencies, web agencies, people who are creating blogs, podcasts, lots of content, uh, also social media marketers, etc. There is a link in the description of this video. If you have any questions, then feel free to reach out. And uh, if you're not a member of the WP Innovator community, then head on over to wpinnovator.com forward slash group. That is a free community of web designers, web agency owners. And if you are not an agency trailblazer, then be sure to come and join the community over at agencytrailblazer.com. Have a great day.